what's up guys welcome back again you might be seeing a lot of uh, devices running android nougat some different different version 7.0 7.1.1 .1 and some sort of beta versions too so today we are not going to take a look on some of the features that are unique to android nougat already i have covered them a long time so a lot of videos are there i will put the playlists in the video description so check that out but today exclusively we will talking about the one plus because a lot of manufacturer have started getting like sony samsung everybody's testing and right nougat so it might be very good to just to show you guys some of the unique feature that are specific to for example this one plus three in comparing to the latest one the pixel and the nexus 6p just for reference i have taken nexus 6 here too but it, it won't be needed anymore here so we will be talking about the, some of the features that doxian os is modified when comparing to stock and write and especially they are really very great and i hope google should add those feature in upcoming software update hopefully might be in 7.1.2 or in the future version of say android o who knows so let's get started starting initially with the settings the oneplus does provide a system wide devil dark theme which is really optimized for the amoled phone so even though this feature came in the android and dev preview but according to google this does uh, take some bit of battery and it has some concern with the system optimization performance that's why google plan to remove this from the stock and right both the oxy and os and the stock android come with the justice features but this is limited to the some of the basic functionality in the pixel and the nexus phone but the oneplus 3 gives you some extra set of features like you can control your music from the lock screen you can even turn on your flashlight as you can see you can easily turn on and turn off from the here you don't need to get inside the phone both the os does provide a night light feature as you can see but if you turn that on on the Oxygen OS, it looks pretty cool and simple to watch. Even you can turn that on whole night and whole day. But the same is only exclusive to the Pixel phone in case of the stock Android. It was not there in the previous Nexus phones and it was removed from the day preview floor by putting on the reason that it is also due to the performance concern. Oxygen OS has added an extra set of functionality to securing your application which has a built-in app locker in comparison to stock Android which doesn't have. If you just lock any app, it will ask the default pin or pattern even if it does suppose a fingerprint of scanners. I'm not really too sure how much it does matters but as a personal experience I do prefer to restart or shut down my phones once in a day so that's why I personally feel it works much better. The same you can see the Oxy Invoice has just provided the schedule power on and off but same you cannot find in the stock and ride Nougat phones. Talking about the sound, Oxy Invoice now has added extra set of features which is called as audio setting. You can get a lot of controls that, that you can easily get with the other third party application but now it is built into the Oxy Invoice itself. If you are a person who really likes to do a lot of stuff when going in, inside the recovery and the bootloader, so OxyNOS has already the good options you can easily go to the recovery bootloader and all the stuff and the same you can do that by enabling the advanced reboot inside the developer options. Since both are based on the Android Nougat, you can easily get the quick toggle settings and you can control the display but OxyNOS has added a bit of extra feature you can directly make the screen to look automatic mode or in the normal mode so that is a very common advantage feature in case you are moving to the daylight situation oxy noise has by default enabled system ui tuner but the same you can do on the stock and right by clicking on this gear icon for a couple of seconds it will enable now what is the benefit you can get inside if you are the nougat you can easily enable the power notification control which in short can control exactly how you want your app to get notified you can enable from the silent but do not disturb to whether the app should peak or the pop everything can control that according to google it should be some security and safety concern and it may be unstable but uh, looking on the oxygen as a strategy it looks like it's not that too much risky it can pretty much easily be enabled both Oxygen OS and the stock Android come with the default launcher, the Nexus phones come with the Google Now launcher and the Pixel phones come with the Pixel launcher which is exclusive to only Pixel phones but the Oxygen OS 2 has a default launcher and you can do some other extra stuff like you can change the icon pack, you can rearrange the icon size which is sometimes very important for customizing the Androids. So there you have it guys, a quick set of features that you will get extra on the OnePlus 3. Now which one you should like, it depends on your personal preference, which kind of OS you do present. And there are a lot of videos I have made on the Android Nougat tips and tricks in case your phone have got the Android Nougat update. So those tips might help you. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to watch more. This is Saurabh. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day.